in all things horse, I want my horse to respond to the tiniest cue I can give him. So I just kind of presented that flag. I want him to move off at a quiet pace. And right here where he picked up the pace on his own, I'm just going to ask him to change directions quietly. He picks up the pace on his own. I'll give him three strides to fix himself. So as a general rule, I give my horse three strides to kind of think about what he's doing. And right here, I want him to feel my energy. See how he corrected himself there on about the third stride? So what we don't want to do, I'm going to, I'm going to let him park right there and kind of think about what he did that was good, see? But what we don't want to do is be too quick to correct. So if he took off trotting, I don't want to do a, a big direction change or, or correct him harshly. I want him to kind of think about, am I doing the right thing, yes or no? So for me, just kind of a quiet presentation, and then just kind of move it at him, drive him a little bit. And a, and a quiet, uh, low energy drive motion means I want a low energy drive response. And if he's gonna stay quiet right here, look, I'm gonna say, well, why don't you just send your hip away there and just kind of think about that wonderful thing you did that was good. And as a general rule, I'll just present it to the other side and then add him a little bit, add him a little bit. And as a general rule uh, on this lunging or even if I'm riding, I'll use a direction change as my form of correction. Now right there, I kind of saw him kind of think about picking up the pace that he decided not to before he quit. I'll just kind of wave at him. And if you'll give me another quiet lap here, nice and quiet, right here, I'll just kind of present this to his hind end and say, why don't you just kind of park yourself and kind of think about what you did there, what was good. Good boy. Now, I wish I would have had the camera a few minutes ago because he was kind of jacked up and tearing around. Of course, good to get the camera, and then he decided to get quiet. But uh, it was kind of a good example of how we can use direction change as a form of correction presentation of the flag. I'll wave it at his shoulder. Okay. And then, now if I want him to pick up the pace, notice I kind of keep my hand right here at my belly button. I'm not telling him to go this way or that way by pointing first. Now if I want him to pick up the pace, watch this. I'm just going to put a little more energy in with the flag there. Then I'll just kind of back the flag off and see him slow himself, but I want to keep going. Keep going. Watch, I'll present the flag with a little more energy. Energy. And then back it off. Three strides to bring yourself to a walk. And, th and there he did. I almost did a direction change. I'll just go ahead and change directions now. Got the shoulder to move him out. A little more energy. And then back the energy off. Let's see how he slowed. And just kind of keep driving him here, keep going. And I'll just kind of park him here and just tell him how smart he is. So I want my horse reading and responding to the amount of energy I send him, even if I'm up in the saddle. Slow, faster, real fast, slow, slow, faster, and faster. And slow and walk and park for doing the right thing. So I'd say here, let's go. Let's go the other way. At the shoulder. And right there he took off without instruction. So he's asking to do a direction change. Good. Move the shoulders off this way, please. See if he wants to just keep walking here. Good boy. Pick up the pace. And slow the pace. Easy to fly off of him. Present it back to him. He's got to keep moving. And then park. 
LED thing. Pick on that for a second. They can respond to the amount of energy you send them. Low energy, please. If he takes off the trot, I give him three strides to fix himself. Okay, I'm thinking about trotting. So see how he fixed himself on the third stride? I didn't bump him in the face or do anything to him. Right here, just ease up. Keep going, please. Keep going, please. I give my horse many verbal cues. I usually just kind of double smooch for a trot. some of the things we can do. Last thing I want him, I think I want him afraid of the flag. I've kind of talked about this before. This, 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 that's what I call a desensitizing motion. And this is a driving motion. And right there we took off. I want him walking and quiet. If he takes off the trot, I'll just ask for a direction change. And again, this is a desensitizing motion. See how his head's kind of flipping around there? A little bit kind of anxious about it. I'm just going to let him kind of figure this all out. He's got quiet. There. There we go. Good boy. Okay, okay. 